Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I've got another upgrade on the buggy that I'm going to show you guys. It is some hydraulic bump stops. I installed a set of these two inch threaded body bump stops from Locked Off Road probably a month or so ago. And I'm finally going to get a chance today to try and get some video of these doing some moderate, actually very easy driving down a dirt bumpy field. Uh, that's here local to me. I'm going to do a quick little walk around before I cut to the video of going out there. But you can see I've got them on the front, mounted up onto the frame row here. And I got the pads down there on the axle. I had to clearance this a little bit so it wouldn't hit the bump. And I actually, I just adjusted it. So hopefully while I'm out there, it doesn't hit anymore. I really don't feel like pulling these coilovers apart to cycle the suspension. But uh, here's the other side. I've got it mounted up on the, the track bar mount. And then over here in the back, it's a pretty simple mount too. Just mount it up here on the tube, a couple of plates plate on the top. And then the pad down here on the bottom. Get some light, I'm not sure you can see it. But just uh, weld up an extra little pad on top of the truss there. You can see I used to have some just poly bumps that were drilled in right here. I need to go back and repaint this truss now that uh, now that those are off. But here's a look at the, the other side here. They're all, I think I mentioned it, they're two inch body, two inch travel. Now uh, let's cut some action out in the field. in the garage it's actually a new day back from doing the test drive with the new bump stops and they did pretty good uh 
you can see they only really bottomed out whenever I was uh, flexing through some ditches, but doing uh, some runs across the field actually did pretty good. You can see how far the, the O-rings traveled. Uh, there wasn't any interference at full, uh, full compression uh, on either side. The only uh, thing that I did notice was up here on the fender. So one thing that I've done since the last time I've had, this, had any videos of this is that I changed up the front suspension to get a little bit, a little more up travel. I modified the, the mounts here and I haven't had a chance to flex it out since then. And uh, at full compression, actually full articulation, it was hitting a little bit on this fender. So I just trimmed it a little bit. But as far as the bump stops go, those didn't have any interference. So I'm gonna call it a success. Uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks.